This is a tutorial about solderless wire splicing. A real quick disclaimer, this is just a temporary improvised fix. You should learn how to solder. You should do it properly with soldering and electrical tape. And if you get into electronics, this can be very dangerous. So make sure you consult with a professional who can walk you through all of this properly and uh, anything that you do uh, in this tutorial or any other tutorial you do at your own risk. I'm going to show you a real quick way to splice jumper cables so that you could have two or more uh, five volt outputs from an Arduino board. So these are the jumper wires that usually come with an Arduino starter kit. How can you get one uh, pin to go into the Arduino and two five volt sources uh we're gonna do it this way so number one we gotta cut off the end of this shorter one you could use pliers that have this cutting surface uh something else that works well cutting the insulation away is a cutter but you gotta be really really careful with this it's very easy to cut yourself so we're gonna kind of cut it uh toward the end here right near the pin i'm gonna cut it right there that's off and then uh, let's try doing it with the pliers first. And these, these are not in the best shape. So uh, if it works for me, it should work for you. Try to get up about a centimeter, a centimeter or so. And just kind of don't pull, push down all the way. Just push down until you've got a grip on it and then kind of strip it away. You might have to do it a couple of times. And you'll, you'll notice that it kind of turns white already because you're stressing that rubber insulation rather than cutting through the copper inside. There we go, there's the copper inside. You wanna make sure that you've got a lot of strains there and you didn't cut most of them away. The most of them are there, kind of hold to the tip and twirl it to kind of braid it all together. It should look something like this. You, you could do the same process, cut it here and then do it to both sides and then twist all of them together and then put tape over it. Maybe, maybe we'll try to do it that way. Let's try to do it that way. So cut somewhere right around here and let's repeat the process of stripping off just about a centimeter of the of the insulation again usually two or three shots to get this so there's the copper twist it together like this so it's not all frayed at the end yet one two and now three let's get this one right here about a centimeter or so, two or three tries. So there's more of the copper. All right, now we get all three of them together, all three of them together like this, and twist them all together, just like we, we did for each individual one. Let's twist all of them, let's gather all of the tips together and twist the whole thing together. Now. If you have soldering, the best thing to do would be to solder all of this. But if you don't have soldering, this could be a temporary solution. But always check the continuity because uh, it's likely not going to hold up for very long unless you solder it. So we solder things to make it more durable. So try to twist that together the best that you can. And if you don't have electrical tape, try using masking tape. It's very sticky, very thin, and it works pretty good holding this together, at least temporarily. So just get a pretty long length of maybe about five centimeters or so and kind of put it right in the middle, All right? Like that, fold it over, try to get that copper all together right there and then wrap it as tightly as possible. Might even fold that over and then tape over that fold okay keep wrapping it keep wrapping it keep wrapping it keep wrapping it until you're done might even put another one over that and yeah it looks a little it looks a little crazy like that but uh this is honestly is better than it's better than nothing if you don't have soldering that's a quick way of doing it let's check the continuity Okay, this is a this is a multimeter. You've got these two leads, positive and negative. And right here, there's like a little sound icon. Switch it over to that one. By default, it should say OL on the screen. And just try touching it. All of these should be connected to one another. You should hear a beep.
So all of the combinations work. That means we have continuity. That means all of these wires connect, all three of these. So now you have one pin that you can put into your five volt out on your Arduino, and you can send it off to two separate sources at one time. Just be careful, because this is not gonna hold very well. It was not soldered together. So it could come, come undone very easily. And if it's not working, take off that tape, braid everything together, tape it down again, or uh, learn how to solder. That's really, if you're gonna get into electronics, something very essential you need to learn how to get into and do. So there you go. That's a quick way of splicing wires together without using soldering. You could try hot glue or super glue maybe to keep those strains together, but then also tape over it anyway. Uh, but always the best way to do it is with soldering and with electrical tape you know the right tool for the right job this is uh, an improvised temporary solution just always keep that in mind remember all of these tutorials uh, you're doing them at your own risk at your own personal risk and at the risk of your equipment whatever you're hooking up with these wires just keep that in mind if you like what we're doing here at the applied technology lab where we're giving out this information to the public for free we design develop produce and then release for free these open source designs and all of the knowledge that goes with making them. If you like that and you want to support us, check out the video description below for ways you can help contribute like through Patreon month to month or there's options for one-time donations and even if you're just sharing this with other people because you think it's interesting, thank you so much for that. We can't do that without your support. Uh, that's what makes things like open source software, hardware, and designs possible. Uh, and until next time, just remember, knowledge is power, but only if you apply it.